Hello everybody. I don't know if you've seen those videos on Harper's Bazaar's YouTube channel called Go to Bed With Me where celebrities take off their makeup and get ready for bed, but it's really fun. They're a fun watch and so I decided to do one because I enjoy watching them and I know I'm going to enjoy doing it and hopefully you'll enjoy watching it too. So everybody come along and go to bed with me. Now we're starting off with a hot cup of tea. This is going to be my reward for getting my makeup and stuff off. It's also really important to set the mood. So yes, right here I have this beautiful candle and I've got everything I need. So let's, uh, let's, let me just get started here. So the first thing that I do is remove uh, my mascara and I use a wet cotton round to do that. So let's do that now. And it's great that this mascara comes right off with water. And it's pretty quickly as you can see. This is the TOK mascara so it's not a waterproof mascara obviously. All right, that's good for now. And the reason I do that is because the next step, I just don't want mascara all over my face. So I'm turning on the water. I wanna get some hot water going or some really warm water. So I'm just warming up the water right now. It's almost done. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Jane Iredale Magic Mitt and get this wet with this warm water. So hang on here. Once it's wet, you just slide it on your hand, like so. And then this is all I'm gonna use to take off my makeup. I'll show you here in a second. Here's what this looks like so far, but it's taking off foundation, my eye makeup, the last of the mascara that I did not get. lipstick. This is my first cleanse, so um, I'm going to follow this up, but I'm going to flip this over to the clean side and just go down my neck because I have sunscreen on and I want to get that off. That's the first cleanse. For the second cleanse, to get every, make sure that everything else is off. And once you've done that, you can just take this towel and put some, some soap on it and wash it with, with regular, I just use bar soap, rinse it out, squeeze it out, and then just hang it up to dry and it dries within a few hours. For my second cleanse, I've got the uh, Squalane and Amino Acid Gentle Cleanser here from Biosance. You've heard me talk a lot about Biosance before. I really like their products and this cleanser also takes off makeup, but it's also very, very gentle. That's the phone. That does not make for a very relaxing experience. Robocalls, in case you're wondering, it wasn't anyone that I know. All right. I'm now gonna rinse this off. So, give me a second. So what I've been doing lately is uh, less is more. In the evenings, I really want my skin to breathe. Um, I want it to feel moisturized, but I don't want to layer on a lot of products at night. So, sometimes I'll grab my derma roller and do that, but I'm not going to do that tonight. And I'm gonna instead do some facial guasa after I get my the next step and tea break. <laughs> 
one of my favorite ones, uh, celebrities on the Harper's Bazaar series is Nicole Kidman, who also keeps her routine is very, very simple. Uh, but she, one of the things that, that I thought was so fun about hers is that she says that the last thing that she does before she goes to bed is if her husband happens to be home, she will put on her favorite perfume. And I thought that was really cool. Uh, the other thing that I thought was cool is how many um, celebrities like me really like facial oils. And that's what I'm going to do next. I don't need a toner. Um, my, you know, my face is very, it's toned. <laughs> it's clean. But yeah, if I was going to use a toner, I would use some, just probably something very gentle like a rose water spray just to make sure all the makeup is off. But it's definitely off. And then uh, the next step is just um, a serum and oil. And so I'm using this Defense Patrol Serum from Eyelet, and I'm going to cocktail it with the Phoenix Oil from Herbivore Botanicals. I've almost used this up, so I'm just trying to finish this Phoenix off. But this makes a really nice application that is not too heavy. I don't like oils that just sit on my skin. I want something that's actually going to penetrate. Yeah, I dropped it. <laughs> All right. I want something that's going to penetrate. Uh, and so these two products together work really well to do that. So let's just do this now. And then what I like to do once I get this in is do a little bit of facial guasa. I'm not going to do too much of it now because uh, I have a whole video and I'll link that you know, up in the cards so that if you want to see it, you can. But I have this Rose Quartz Guasa Stone and I just like to take it starting down the neck. This is just going to open up the channels for the lymphatic system, for lymphatic drainage. It also helps with blood flow. I'm doing this really fast. Normally I would take my time. In fact, once I'm done here, I'm going to take my stone into the living room, turn on the TV. I'm watching uh, Ted Lasso first season. So I'm going to watch a little bit of that, grab my tea, and finish my guasa. Oh, there's one other thing I need to do. Before I put on the serum, I would, I forgot, I put on my eye cream. Uh, creams come first, serums come second. I'm looking off because that's where the mirror is. But I just like to dab this underneath. And then I put the serum on over it. Any extra, we'll give to the lips. This is really nice. I notice that when I forget to do this, I end up with little crinklies in this area. We don't like those. <laughs> the uh, final step, my lip balm, and I've been using this one from Elia for, oh my gosh, since the spring, I think, since March. And um, a little, as you can see, goes a long way. I haven't, maybe like halfway through, but I use this every night. And it just feels really good. And keeps my lips really soft and, uh, you know, from getting dry and cracked overnight. It's also helped evening out the color of my lips because I tend to have a little hyperpigmentation around the outside. But that is the last step. Before I leave, I've got some soap, bar of soap, and my towel, my little magic mitt. So I want to wash this off so that you really can see that is really easy to clean. So I'm just rubbing, getting soap on it right now. Giving it a good scrub. And now rinse. And as you can see, after I've squeezed everything out of this. It's there. It is completely clean. So I just hang this up and like I said, it'll be dry in two, three hours tops. 
So everybody, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. It's a little bit different, but hopefully it was fun. If you have any questions about products I'm using, put them down in the comments below. I will link what I can. And uh, otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Until then, I'm wishing you a wonderful day, a wonderful week. Take good care of yourselves, and I will talk to you again very, very soon. Bye.